today's tutorial is Fiesta headlight removal as a prelude to Fiesta headlight bulb replacement because unfortunately on this Mark 6 Fiesta it's necessary to remove the headlight from the car before you can replace any of the three bulbs that are in there. So stay tuned, let me show you how. With the bonnet up, start by removing the top of the front grille, lift the clip out of the hole at each end and then lift the grille up and you can set it to one side. On the top of the headlight use a T30 Torx screwdriver or bit to remove these two screws. Across the top of the bumper press down and release three clips and with your T30 Torx screwdriver remove this screw. A wobble extension is handy here. The headlight has a clip in here behind the panel that you can't see. To release it gently pull the headlight forwards and in the front corner here lift it over the bumper. There's no easy way to describe how to do this. You just have to manipulate it out sort of forwards and upwards. Press in the little tag on the electrical connector, pull the connector apart and the headlight lifts away. You can also see now this clip feature on the side of the headlight which locates onto this plastic clip in the inner wing. With the headlight upside down on a soft surface, turn this an eighth of a turn and lift out and there's the indicator bulb, a standard bayonet P21W. With the light unit still on its back, pull this rubber cover, which I found completely impossible to do with my fingers and that reveals the uh, W5W side light bulb, which is a simple push fit into that hole. This grommet has a groove around it that locates on this edge in the hole there. I find it easier to push it in from the back there. It is very awkward. Your eyes are not deceiving you as you watch me do this. And removing this cover here reveals the H4 dipper main beam bulb. With a flat screwdriver, unclip both sides. Again, yes, it is awkward. The clip then hinges up and the bulb simply removes. Just once you've put your new bulb in, push that down, clip it into place. In some countries it's a legal requirement to carry spare bulbs and having to go through this palaver of getting the headlight out and, the, and this clip which is very difficult to do with your bare fingers makes a complete mockery of uh, that legal requirement because uh, without the tools and knowing how to do it you, you wouldn't be able to change a spare bulb on the roadside. But the difficulty isn't over because we've got to put this back yet. The Haynes manual rather glibly tells you that uh, reassembly is the reversal of removal which is not factually inaccurate. So plug in the uh, headlight harness, do that first, slot in the uh, headlight down in the uh, indicator corner, manoeuvre the headlight so that the beam adjuster goes underneath the locking platform whereas the fixing stays above, push the headlight back, bring the indicator corner over the bumper and as you push the headlight unit back into position watch this clip down there to make sure it's going home properly, bring that bumper flap over, push it down in the indicator corner, manoeuvre the headlight a little bit so that the fixings are almost located home but you can still just about see down the side of there to watch that clip go home and push the headlight backwards. Now all you need to do is return the fixings and clip the bumper and the grille back into place. Top tip when you're putting the fixings back into place make sure to look at the dirt marks on the locking platform here and position the headlight tabs exactly where they came from otherwise you're going to need to have your headlights aligned again rubbish piece of engineering if you ask me and that is the Ford way. If you got value from this video please give it a like down by the title, maybe consider supporting the channel, links in description and I shall see you in the next video.